What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between the free version, the pro version, and the studio version of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this can be a little bit confusing, so I wanted to talk through some of the differences. So when you first go to SketchUp's website, notice how there's an option on this page for multiple different plans. These plans are going to have different um, options as well as different capabilities. You're gonna have access to different things. So if we go to the plans and pricing page, notice how there's options on this page for multiple different versions. And so I wanna start with the free version. And so if you want to access the free version of SketchUp, all you have to do is go to app.sketchup.com. And so when you do this, you may need to sign up for a Trimble ID. You can click on the button right here for create a Trimble ID and you can log in to that free version. And so that is going to give you access to your Trimble page right here where you can access your different SketchUp files. And then you can click on create new in order to access the free version of SketchUp. This version is 100% free and you can work with it um, inside of your web browser. Now there are some different limitations of the free version, which we'll talk about in a second when we talk about the first paid tier, but that's the free version. Um, beyond this, the first version that's on Trimble's website is the iPad and web version right, or SketchUp Go. And basically, this one is going to be $119 a year, and it's gonna give you access to the iPad version and the web-based version. Note that with the Go subscription, the web-based version is upgraded with some additional features, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, in addition, there's a couple changes or differences between the paid version of the web version on the left-hand side in the Go versus the free version on the right-hand side. One of those is you get access to the outliner, which is basically a tool for keeping your models organized. So you'll see all of your groups and components in here, and you can adjust them inside of the outliner right here. In addition, you have more options for working with your materials. Um, so say, for example, I was to pick a brick material over here. And again, this is in the paid version. So we're just going to grab a brick material right here and apply it to this surface. Notice how in the paid version of the web version, you have options to edit the material. So you can adjust the opacity and the size of materials and other things like that. So there's a couple additional features you get in the paid version of the web version versus the free version. In addition, that Go version is also gonna give you access to live components. And theoretically, it's supposed to give you access to the environments and the photo real materials, though I've not seen where to do this in the uh, web version. So I haven't really tested that one out. You also get a couple different import types as well. So if you do wanna go with the Go version, you're basically going to get an upgraded web version and the iPad version. Um, for me, um, usually if you're going to want those additional features, most of the time you're going to want to go ahead and go with the desktop version anyway. Um, but you do get a few additional options going with the Go version right here, which is $119 a year or $17.99 a month as of the time of recording this video. It might change. Um, okay, so the middle version is the most popular version. So this is the pro version of SketchUp. And so what the pro version of SketchUp is going to give you is it's going to give you access to the actual desktop version of SketchUp. This is the file that you install on your computer and you work on on your computer. Um, this is going to be the default for most people. Um, so this is going to give you access to all of the SketchUp desktop um, tools. It's going to give you access to the PBR rendering, um, as well as the ability to use extensions, which is something you don't get in the web version. For me, that is a massive deal because extensions can give a whole lot of additional tools to SketchUp. So in addition, this middle version is also going to give you access to layout. So layout is SketchUp's tool for creating two-dimensional documentation and plans and elevation from your models. So with the pro version of SketchUp, you're also going to get access to this, which is going to give you access to the ability to actually create two-dimensional plans from your drawings as well. So again, this is kind of the default. Um, and this is where most people end up going unless they have a need for a couple additional things. So the studio version over here comes with everything in the go 
in the uh, in the pro version. And by the way, the pro version contains everything in the go version. So if you get this middle version in here, you also get access to the upgraded web-based modeler and the iPad version as well. Everything in the pro ver or everything in the go version is contained in this middle version. Everything in the pro version is contained in the studio version plus some additional things. So this version right here, the studio version, that's going to come with a Revit importer, which is a tool for importing Revit models into SketchUp. So if you bring Revit models in, that could be valuable to you. Um, it's also going to give you access to the scan essentials to work with point clouds. So that is going to be a tool specifically for importing that point cloud data. Um, so, and you can kind of see that down below. If you scroll down, you can see how this comes with scan essentials. It's also going to come with a license for V-Ray. So V-Ray is basically a 3D rendering engine um, that creates realistic renderings. So personally, I think if you're new, you probably don't want to commit to V-Ray just yet. You probably want to look around at some different rendering options and other things like that. Um, but it's also going to come with a V-Ray license. So really it just comes with some additional softwares, but if these are things that you either don't know about or aren't ready to use, you definitely don't need to go with the studio version. Most of the time I encourage people to go with the pro version right here. Um, and then if you really need to upgrade to the version that includes all these other things, you definitely can. But I think for the most part, um, it's pretty rare that I find people that have exactly this need right here, but that's what's contained inside of the studio version. All right, so there you go. Free version all the way through the studio version. That's what's gonna be contained inside of these. If you do have any questions about any of those, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.